Hey guys, sorry I've been gone for a while, um, and you might be thinking, hey, this isn't detention, and you're right, it's not. Um, I had a lot of issues with that game, like both with the audio and with the recording software and just with the game itself, so like, I'm deciding to take a break from that and I'm going to be playing the Charnel House trilogy instead. Um, there were a few different games I tried playing, a lot of them didn't work out. Um, so I decided on this one because it's pretty short and it's almost Halloween. And there is another game I want to play in November too, so I figured this would be a nice little short spooky thing for us. Um, I have had this recommended to me. I admittedly don't know what it's about, <laughs> I just know it's a scary game. And, um, I think it's like three games in one. I don't know if there's voice acting or not, but I guess we'll see. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into it with the first one, which is Inhale. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news! The blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old-fashioned New York rain. Guess so close your windows, happened. lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because whoever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test Pilot. Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Okay, so right to interact, left to examine. I assume, yeah, click just to move. Alright. So... Playing a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Is that a crow phone? I don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. Hmm. <laughs> okay, what's up here? Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. Hmm. This... I don't know which one's to leave. Sure. I could use a shower. Oh, I guess it's my bathroom. Oh, I guess that would be to leave with the coat by it. There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. How about now? Ah, there you got go. It. Parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. So you want to give up smoking? A self-help book by I Burnett. Kind of wish I hadn't found this now. I'll just put it back where it was. Almost. Cool. She's a redhead like me too. A bit. I'm pretty hungry. 
but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. I've been talking to you guys so much that I just go full. If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. What? Sure, yeah, I'll go to bed at seven in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. Do I not have a bedroom? Do I just sleep on my couch? I guess so. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Can I? Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. Why is your mail in such weird places? The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. Power on. Good idea. Now, I'm sure it's here for a reason. What does the note say? Now, I'm sure it's here for a reason. Okay. I've already read it. Twice. Because that's how exciting my life is. Little dog. While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I think I'll leave it here for now. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. I'm not changing it. I kinda like bitter reminders. I'm guessing that's your ex. Right, let's do this. Oh look, drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever, I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well, no time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Of course, I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh yeah. Is it on this? Ah, here it is. I think. Okay, good. How do I use my- oh, here we go. Can I use it? Can I examine it? Nah. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Okay, that is not that helpful. Can I leave? Probably not. I don't really want to wear a coat indoors. I've got no desire to go out. Okay then. Let's do this then. Okay. What did the note say? The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Okay, we've got... It could be this one. I should double check the title. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Okay, doesn't sound like that one. Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. Death, The High Cost of Living. Just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. All the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. A beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. Just kidding. Rand was a fucking troll. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. <laughs> I never finished the third Bioshock game. I only played the first two. Leaving Megalopolis by Gail Simone. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Fifty Great Coastal Walks of the British Ooh. Isles, Volume 2. I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. I've never even been to Britain. Hopefully the librarian's forgotten. That sounds like sure. I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. Okay, then. Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This just came out. I have an especially strong connection to her writing. I can't wait to read it. 
fact, everyone should. Yeah. I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the Ooh, one. achievement. Nah, let's not get sidetracked with minor things like asthma. Well, I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the one. How am I supposed to know which one? I'm saving it for a special occasion. Since I haven't read it, it's probably not this one. By applying the principles of objectivism to this, I can discern it isn't the book I'm after. I'd love to sit down and read this, but nah. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, This is the Wrong Book, this is the wrong book. Oh, Cassell, you are a strange and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. For your graduation, I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. I guess it would make sense that, since this game is called Chernell House Trilogy. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. The next train isn't for two weeks. I can't wait that long. Oh, there we go. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. Looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? Ooh. Oh, <gasps> what was that now on the couch? Storming. Now this is gonna be fun, making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. Looking outside, it seems like the storms hit a little early, New York. Okay. Rain, thunder, lightning, the works. So batten down those hatches and get ready for a no, cozy musical night same. in with me, Ken and Where are my DVDs? On BC sure, yeah. I'll go to bed at 7 in the evening. That'd be... Well, I would go to bed, too. If I was drinking coffee, nope. but I don't. Still hmm. locked. It can't be locked. It doesn't even have a keyhole. Uh, it must be jammed. I think I can jimmy it open with something. If I can find something that'll fit. Can I go in my kitchen yet? Unfortunately, Gavin took all the cutlery with him, so I'm having to make do with brittle plastic crap. It won't be any use. The more I think about that, the more it pisses me off. Who takes the fucking forks when they go? Seriously. Hmm. I think I can jimmy it open. Oh, no. In the bathroom? There's nothing useful in there, I'm pretty sure. Can I go out in the hallway? I've got no desire to go out. Can I use the dog? The little tiny dog? You know what? I think this little guy's tail would yes. fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Aw, oh, shit. The tail's just oh, snapped no. off. The doggy. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. Oh. I'm not closing it again after all that. Yeah, but just look in it. I'm not closing it again. Girl. Oh, there we go. Right. Let's see what we have here. A photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. Keep telling me I need a vacation.
Oh, not that again. Huh? Shit. I fell asleep. Huh. Con 8. Phone's ringing. Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob. Hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Mm, that's not Rob. Hello? Yes, this is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. Is that the Grim Reaper? What's wrong? Oh, my inhaler! Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah. Are you British? I can't tell. Time. Sorry. It'll be alright. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No. I think he is British, yeah. yeah. Seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're gonna have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... No, it's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Wait. Package just I disappeared. Won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob. I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. Days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call mom tomorrow too. Oh, I thought maybe one of your maybe your did your dad die? I thought maybe one of your parents was dead. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world, ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness, the perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. That was very poetic. I 
They got a lot of missing information here. Shit's going down. That's my book. You can't read my book, Grim Reaper. Looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. It's a clean, crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. Hey, why the hell aren't you wearing a coat? That bothers me so much, girl. It is Porter snowing can get out. It when the train pulls in. I probably shouldn't start playing on the tracks. Hello, sir. So, hey. You been waiting long? I, uh... I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? A uh, little port town. <laughs> Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to... Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. Huh. Oh. Yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further. But... You know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. The train should be here soon. I think I can see it. <laughs> it's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. Okay. I'm not walking away. I'm here now. There's no turning back. Well, I guess we're waiting for the train. So now seems like a good spot to stop off. Um, so we'll leave it off here for now, and I will see you guys next time.